This videotape will demonstrate how to weld four commonly used joints in the vertical up and overhead positions using the MIG process. These joints are the butt joints, T-joints, lap joints, and outside corner joints. MIG, an abbreviation for metal inert gas, is a trade term for gas metal arc welding, which may be abbreviated GMAW. In this process, the arc between the work and a consumable continuous wire electrode is shielded by an inert gas. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to write down the safety precautions to be observed in gas metal arc or MIG welding, and describe the procedures for welding butt joints, T joints, lap joints, and outside corner joints in the vertical up and overhead position. Safety can never be overemphasized in the welding industry, as there is always the danger of injury from burns and from overexposure to infrared and ultraviolet rays. Particular care should be taken to protect all parts of the body that may be exposed. Wear a welding cap to protect the hair and scalp. Wear safety glasses and a welding helmet to cover the eyes and face. Wear a set of leathers to protect the body. Wear a pair of arc welding gloves to protect the hands. And use a pair of pliers to handle hot metal. And always operate MIG equipment in a well-ventilated area. In these demonstrations, we will be using 1 8 inch mild steel plate for the base metal and 35 thousandths diameter wire with a gas mixture of 75% argon and 25% carbon dioxide. The ampere setting for 35 thousandths diameter electrode for 1 8 inch mild steel is 140 to 160 with a gas flow of 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour. Make the necessary adjustments. The first joint to be welded is the butt joint in a vertical position, starting at the bottom and working up. Tack the two pieces together with a 3 32nd to 1 8 inch gap between the plates and position them in a jig in a vertical position. Hold the torch at the bottom of the joint. Then lower the torch down 5 to 10 degrees from the joint so the gun points upward in the direction of travel and use no side angle. Strike the arc and start moving up the joint using a small circular motion as you move. Make sure that you are penetrating through the backside and also getting proper buildup on the face of the weld. Make sure you are maintaining a proper electrode stick out of about 3 8 inch as you move up the joint. When the weld is complete, inspect it for uniform bead and proper penetration. To weld a vertical up T joint, position the torch at the bottom of the joint with the gun pointing upward at a 5 to 10 degree lead angle. Start the arc and move upward in a small circular or weaving motion. Move at a steady speed to make sure the joint is being filled properly. At times it may be necessary to pause on the sides as you move up to avoid any undercutting on the sides of the weld. When the weld is completed, inspect it for uniform bead and proper width. When welding a vertical up lap weld, start at the bottom of the joint. Hold the torch so it points upward at a 5 to 10 degree lead angle with a 45 degree side angle to split the 90 degrees formed by the weld joint. Start the arc and move upward using a small circular or weaving motion to fill the joint. Move at a steady speed to prevent any overlap onto the upper plate. At times you may have to pause on the sides to prevent undercutting on the outer edges of the weld. Continue to move up the joint. When the weld is completed, inspect it for uniform bead and proper buildup. To weld an outside corner joint in the vertical position, hold the torch at the bottom, splitting the 90 degree angle in two. Use a lead angle of about 5 to 10 degrees. Start the arc 
and move up the joint at a steady speed, making sure the arc is on the leading edge of the weld as you move up. Fill up the joint without overlapping onto the outer edges of the plates. When the weld is completed, inspect for uniform bead and proper buildup in the joint. Next, we will demonstrate how to use MIG to weld the four most common joints in the overhead position. To weld a butt joint in the overhead position, tack the two pieces together, leaving about a 3 32nd inch gap between the two pieces and position them in an overhead position. Increase the voltage and amperage for overhead welding. Hold the torch in the center of the root directly under the weld joint at 90 degrees with no side angle or lead angles. Strike the arc and move across the joint, making sure the wire is on the leading edge of the puddle as you move. Move at a steady speed, making sure you are penetrating through the back without allowing the puddle to drop off. Continue across the joint until it is completed. Inspect the joint for uniform bead and proper penetration. To weld a T-joint in the overhead position, hold the torch at the end of the joint and position it at a 45 degree angle to split the 90 degree angle formed by the two plates. Strike the arc and begin to move across the joint at a steady speed, keeping the wire on the leading edge of the puddle. Move across at a steady speed to fill the joint without letting the puddle drop off. Continue to move across the joint until it is completed. Inspect the weld to ensure its uniformity and proper size for a T-joint. To weld an overhead lap joint, position the torch at the edge of the joint. Tilt the torch so that it splits the 90 degrees formed by the weld joint. Strike the arc and begin to move across the joint at a steady speed, making sure the wire is on the leading edge of the puddle as you move across. Move at a speed that fills the joint without letting the puddle drop down. When it is completed, inspect the bead for uniformity and proper size. To weld an outside corner joint in an overhead position, hold the torch at the edge of the joint, directly under the joint dividing the 90 degree angle in two. Use no side angle. Strike the arc and begin to move across the joint at a steady speed to fill it without causing any overlapping on the edges. Move fast enough to prevent the puddle from dropping. Continue across the joint with the wire on the leading edge of the puddle. When the weld is completed, inspect the joints. You want uniform bead and no overlap on the outer edges of the corner joint. In review, you have seen how to protect all parts of the body when operating MIG equipment. You have seen the procedures for making a butt joint, T-joint, lap joint, and outside corner joints in the vertical up and overhead position with gas metal arc welding equipment, usually called MIG. The ability to weld different types of joints in a vertical and overhead position is an important and necessary skill for the welder of today. <laughs>